Hey you, my name is Cynical and welcome to a game called The Bear's Black Heart. Now when I saw this game, it looked freaking fantastic. The art style was good, it kind of looks like Don't Starve a little bit, just kind of like the, the, the top down style and the way you run around and stuff. But other than that, it's it's it's, it's own completely unique game. Now basically the idea is, is you're supposed to get to the end, you're supposed to survive winter or something, or spring or something like that. Like, like a bear normally would, except you do things and you interact with other people that can change your heart and give you different effects. Kind of like the Binding of Isaac, you kind of gain all these power-ups, except these power-ups affect you negatively. And when you do something good you don't get as much. Kind of like real life, it's kind of fucked up when you think about it. So, let's just jump right into the game. Alright, so here we are, this is kind of what I meant by kind of like a don't starve a little bit, but the art style looks fantastic it's like all vector art stuff okay can interact with her uh, hello there would you like another one of those inside uh, <laughs> hello there you look like another one of those insomniac bears been drinking too much coffee eh? well I mean I have a cup of coffee right now so uh, you caught me not to worry we'll help you get through winter keep your belly full and your heart clear and be nice and you'll make it through uh, you're absolutely not some out of here dude fuck that oh okay sure thing and remember spring is only 15 short weeks away you can speed things up by talking to people and uh, you find an inv okay cool that's basically it so we got uh, we got picnic baskets we got squirrels we got cans of uh, bird tuna that looks like a bird from here I don't know it's really small I can't see so we're only in first week we got 15 weeks to go okay so what's this area hold oh I'm getting a little bit hungry I think I'm gonna let it go down a bit because I already know what one of the effects are and it's extremely annoying I might record a little bit of me showing you guys that stuff but right now I uh, kind of have to figure out how to survive for 15 weeks of winter. Okay, uh, getting a little hungry. Where's a- there, there's a squirrel. I'm gonna eat the squirrel. There we go. Okay, I ate a squirrel. I don't think I want to eat too much at a time. I think I just want to go slow. Oh shit, it's a little kid in a wheelchair and he looks fucking pissed. Holy shit. You hear an annoying grunt and find an angry little guy in a wheelchair. There's a big bunch of balloons next to him. I, ack, ack, don't want to fly with balloons. He screams. Um, uh, let the balloons go. What, what, what? The balloons float off right into the engine of a passing airplane which causes it to crash into the forest killing many people and animals. It also causes a forest fire destroying a lot of food. What the fuck? He just said he doesn't want to fly with balloons so I, I, I got rid of the balloons but apparently no that fucking kills people. Cool. Corruption. Your heart got a little doctor and famine. Less food can be found. Great. That's that's exactly what I wanted to fucking happen. Good. good. Oh my god my heart is not a little darker. That is extremely. That's halfway. What the fuck. Okay I guess I gotta eat some food. Eat that guy. Oh my heart's a little blacker because I ate a squirrel. Oh that's probably why. Okay I should stick to like cans of tuna. Here, wait, let's see this. This is a can of tuna. There we go. Okay, that ended up the blackness of my heart. But where's some other people I can talk to? Because this is, this is already kind of fucked up. Is there no, is there like nobody over here? Is empty forest? Yeah, it's just empty forest with like different bees. bees. There's different bees. Uh, I don't, I actually don't see any bees. I'm gonna eat a squirrel. Oh no, okay, okay. I can't eat any more squirrels because that will fuck up my everything. Uh, I need to do, I need to, I need to find people so I can do good. And there's not as many people because like holy shit there's just, I killed them all with that fucking plane but ooh look a picnic basket Oh who is this guy? Hello He's a black schmerf <laughs> Oh I love it You find a jittery creature he looks like he's infected with some kind of virus He asks if he, if he can bite your tail Uh your heart, My heart is too dark to do the good choices But it's so hard to know what the good choices are uh, Call the ranger and report that motherfucker the call goes unanswered. The ranger is still angry with you for eating his lunch. Oh, corruption. Okay, stale. Filled fills you. Oh, no. Damn it. Now I'm going to have to eat like a crazy ton. There we go. Oh, God, that is so little. I don't want to eat the squirrels because then I'll be like evil. Oh, look, it's a little snowman. Finally, somebody to talk to. Holy shit. Okay, howdy, stranger. A cute snowman waves at you. Would you like to see what's under my hat? Uh, snatch that away. Tell him, no, thank you. The snowman frowns. Look at you for a second before walking away in silence. You find a potato where he was standing and eat it. Yay, have some food. But my heart gets a little darker and you see more bad choices. Damn it, I can't see any more good choices. How do I make... There, I don't think there's a way to make my heart less dark. Oh, that is so full. What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess I'm kind of screwed on this one. I, I might have to restart or just, just lose and then I can restart. I guess that's how it works. Maybe. That's, that's kind of the idea. Oh, no. Now we got an alien guy. All right. What's, what are you doing, alien guy? Rawr, a monster jumps out. Okay, he didn't really jump out. Oh, you're not the little guy. It says, did you have... Point him left. He thinks he runs off and gobbles down a hiker. Don't help hungry monsters. Oh, 
No, <laughs> I think I'm gonna lose. My heart is entirely black, except it doesn't reflect that on my character, but it is completely black, so I guess I'm fucked. Might as well eat some fucking squirrels, make my heart as dark as possible, and fuck people over, because that's what I do. I'm a fucking terrible bear. Terrible. Oh my god, it's a frightened rabbit. Hey, rabbit. You find a rabbit. She's been collecting berries for her babies. There was a hole in her basket, though, and she's lost most of them. Hadn't your fiendish plan to eat her babies? Or just eat the rabbit? This is so fucked. Okay. Uh, hatch a fiendish plan. Fine. Whatever. Uh, you lure her back to your cave and promise some of food. She pulls the cleaver off from her picnic basket and chops off your arm before stealing your ID documents and ordering nonsense online. Lip balm, hairspray, girl stuff. What the fuck? I, and I lost an arm. Awesome. Great. Fucking excellent. Look at me. I'm fucking... I'm, I, only, I only have my right arm. At least I'm right-handed. This is not gonna suck as much. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. What's gonna kill me next? I need to eat food and it's like winter now because we're in week 06. But why not just eat whatever's on the ground? I guess it's squirrels. Oh shit. Hey hiker, what's up? Sounds of anger attract you to a hiker. She seems frustrated. Howdy there, Mr. Bear. She says, would you give me your hand putting up my tent? I just can't seem to get it right. I can eat the hiker or I can say no. I'm gonna eat the hiker because I need food. <laughs> You st oh god, this is just getting worse. My heart got, gets darker and it's already fully black. I don't know how much darker it can get. And now I see more bad choices. Which, I can't even see any good choices. So why does that, why Why do I get that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh boy, a ranger. What do you got to say, dude? You hear some blowing, oh. You hear someone blowing a whistle and come running to find a forest ranger arresting another bear. You barrel into both of them and knock them out. Before they can wake up, you hog tie them and eat them bit by bit over the course of the next week. You got a stomach ache. Flash, I, fla I, I fart now. I fart now. That's great. Good. No, that's, that's what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay, farting. Great. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, it's not as funny when you're not, like, a kid anymore. It's kind of just getting annoying. But that's, like, the cool, that's the cool thing I was talking about with this game. It's just, you, you get all these negative effects. Now my heart's completely black. I can't make any good choices, which some of the choices I thought were good turned out to be pretty fucking bad. So whatever happens, bad things just happen. And, oh, God, now there's a talking mushroom. Okay. My only option is to refuse to fetch apples or eat the mushroom. I don't want to eat the mushroom because I don't want to trip fucking balls, so I'm going to say no. Mushroom vision is mushrooms all the way down. So, what, what is mushroom vision? Do I just see everything as mushrooms? Is, is everybody I talk to look like mushrooms? I'm, I, I'm, I'm farting and I'm tripping the fuck out, I guess. But it, only like a very specific kind of hallucination where everybody I want to talk to is just a giant talking mushroom. I guess. I'm, I'm really just taking pot shots in the dark here. What's going on? So, I mean, I mean that's what I do anyways, right? With every game, I just take pot shots like, hey, maybe this is that. Maybe I should be on um, game theory, man. Maybe I should just, just work for game theory, man. I'm really good at coming up with theories. Never any actual factual information. But, you know, it's... This music is too fucking nice for this game with the fucked up choices that you have. I mean, it's a good mixture. It kind of gives, gives the game some personality, but, like... This music is way too nice, man. It's too nice and, too, like, too soothing for this kind of game. If this was any other kind of game, like, that there wasn't with fucked up choices and stuff, then, then I'd be happy, but the fart noises are ruining it, and now I gotta eat, so I'm just gonna eat a bunch, and I guess we'll go ahead and go for that one effect that's gonna suck balls. Oh, yay, the ranger again. What's up, buddy? You're accosted when a forest ranger jumps out from behind a tree. I know you, he says. You stole that picnic basket last month. I just ate, like, 20 of them, so why does it matter? Uh, blame someone else or eat the forest. I'm gonna eat the forest ranger because I need to eat you attack the you attack and eat the ranger Not before he calls for help. You spend a horrible week on the run with no food from his workmates only escaping by jumping off a waterfall Holy shit, so I get hungry faster. I didn't break a leg or nothing I just I just got hungry faster waterfalls make you hungry when you jump off them apparently I guess oh no now it's the little guy again Okay, you hear an annoying grunt and find an angry little delusional actor in a wheelchair, even though it's the same guy. There's a guy talking shit about me, he says. You know what to do. You know what to do. Eat the little guy. That's the only thing I know how to do. Later, dude. <laughs> so I got food, corruption, and appetite. See how long until you starve. Oh, God. The wheelchair tastes the best thing out of the pair of them, and you seem to know yourself better now. What the fuck? All right, I guess we ate the little guy. Oh. Oh, I have three minutes until I starve? Are you kidding me? So now I just gotta, like, fucking spam food? Oh, that gives me- okay, that gives me time? 
Okay, so the time doesn't determine how fast my hunger runs out. It's just when the time runs out, I starve and die. Good. Great. Now I'm on a time limit. This is fucking awesome. I love time limits. I love things rushing me. This is just the best feeling in the world. Not really. Yay, axe man. Uh, you hear a sobbing and you find a woodcutter. He explains that he's swinging his axe and his head flew on in the stream. He seems very upset. Eat the woodcutter. Eat his axe handle. Fuck your axe. <laughs> if you lose the axe handle, I'm gonna just whatever. You really need to learn to chew before you swallow. The axe handle gets stuck in your throat and you waddle off. Uh, flat- okay, I just got more farting. Great. Do I double the farting? Is that what happens? Do I double fart? Oh, what is this guy? The dot gobbler. Oh, no. Can I gobble the gobbler? That's the only option I got. Gobble the gobbler. The course is- the curse has been passed. Turns out if you eat a dot gobbler, you become a dot gobbler. This is the effect I was talking about. This is extremely annoying. Just listen, alright? Just- just hold on a second. And everything is dots. All my food are dots. I don't know how to get rid of this, it's- <laughs> If I were playing Pac-Man, it would be understandable, but this is fucking annoying. I can't even hear myself over it. It's so, like, ugh. Why- like, I even turned the volume for this game, like, way down. I don't know why this is immediately, like, super loud either. Really sorry. Oh god, I'm so sorry, this is like the worst. Oh yeah, friendly monster to talk to. Rawr, a monster jumps out. Little ball of poo escapes from your bum with the fright. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, I'm gonna punch him in the fucking mouth! Yeah! You throw a haymaker and he bites off your hand! Oh, I don't have any hands! Why? <laughs> no! Okay, Bunny Rabbit, this is the last one because we're on week 14 right now. I'm almost dead too. The poor bunny needs help fixing her basket. Bite her face! You, ch you chomp your lips- Oh, you go to chomp, but when your lips meet, you fall in love. You end up in a loveless marriage surrounded by kids married to the only rabbit who does not go at it like a rabbit. You last a week before running away. Okay, you see more bad choices and my heart got a little darker. Oh god. Now I'm on week 15. This is the last week. This is the end and I really hate this gobbling noise. It makes it so hard to talk and think. Oh my god. It's 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 literally the worst. I, if I have to say anything, I have to stop moving. It's so terrible. Holy shit. Yay, finally someone to talk to and it's the goddamn got do got gobbler. The dot gobbler. Okay, gobble the gobbler, gobble the dots. I'm gonna gobble the dots. You put a dot in your mouth and in a video game copyright lawyer pops up from behind a bush. You're being sued for impersonating dot gobbler. And he takes an arm and a leg. So now I lost an arm and I guess a leg? I don't know. This is, this is, this is fucking weird. But I won! I won! <laughs> oh, lasted 15 whole fucking weeks. I got one times Minji, chases, okay, three pessimist, one ravenous, one stale, one famine, one appetite, two flatulence, one gobblerd, one mushroom vision, and three armless. <laughs> I lost three arms, even though I only, I kept them all, like one arm and two legs. But that was it. That was the Bear's Black Heart. It was a really interesting game. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's such an interesting concept. Like, really, when you think about it, <laughs> you get all these different effects and stuff, and if you lose, you lose because you fucked it up. But if you win, you're, you're off with both of your arms with your bear girlfriend. And you're also apparently like a tank full of like mysterious fluids and a heart. But that was really awesome. I really enjoyed this game. I love the art style. It's so clean and like nice looking. And the mu the background music was like amazing too. I, li I like that. I'm not doing like a whole review on this game. But like seriously, the everything put into this game it was really good, really well done. And the concept for the kind of game it was was really good. It's a, a lot of choice ma decision games were eh for me, but I really like this one. This one was really well done. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video or you enjoyed the game, leave a like or a comment down below. And if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can click on that bell, stay notified whenever I upload a video. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.